um, question number, I think we finished 40 yesterday. Okay. So start from 41. Yes, under root of 1.96. Anyone can answer this? Sir, 1.5. 1.96. Under root 1.96. What is under root of 1.96? Sir, 0 0.14. 0 0.14. 0 0.14. If you multiply 0 0.14 with 0 0.14, what you will get? You will get 196, 0.0196. So is, it is correct? Is it correct? No. no. Then it will be 1.4. Okay. If you multiply 1.4 with 1.4, you will get 196, 1.96. Okay. 1.96. Yes, sir. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Hmm. What the problem is there? They were points. Point where do you put it? That's it. Okay? Point where do you put it? How many points are there before? There are two. There are two digits. So, in this case, there will be one digit. Yes, sir. Okay? This is the root of 196. But there are just points. Okay? Let's go. Tell me about 42. What will happen? Sir, 1.728. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, hello. What is the answer? 1.2 ka cube. Hai. Theke, 1.2 into 1.2. Sir, 1.728. 1.728. 1. Okay, 12. 12 into 12, 144. 144 into 12. What is the 12 for the 48. Carry 2. Carry 4. 48 plus 4. 52. Carry 5 to 17. Okay. So, 3, 3 digits. Ke baad, okay? 1, 2, 3. 3 digits. 1.728. Very good. Correct. Hai. It's correct. 1, uh, sorry. 1 1.4 is 1.728. Okay. This is correct. Now, question number 43. The cube of an odd number is always an even number or odd number? Odd number. Odd number. Odd number. Odd number. Odd number. Odd number. Okay, it's odd number. Very good. So cube, cube of an odd number is always odd, and a square of odd number is also always odd. Okay. Yes, so sir. Forty-four. The cube root of a number x is denoted by how you denote cube root of x? Under root x. Under root x. Power three. Number three. Three. Third root. Third root of x. Okay. Cube root of x like this. Okay, question number 45. The least number by which 125 be multiplied to make it a perfect square is? What is that least number? What is that the smallest number by which 125 be multiplied to keep it a perfect square? 125 is a perfect square? 125 perfect square? Hai? No, sir. No. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, So 5 into 5 into 5. So 5 into 5 into 5. What you should multiply by? 5, sir. Yes, you should multiply by 5 to make it a perfect square. Okay? Very good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now question number 46. The least number by which 72 be multiplied to make it a perfect cube. 72. So factorize it. 2. 2, 3 is 6. 2, 6 is 12. 2. 2, 1 is 2. 2 is 16. Then again 2. 2, 9 is 18. Then 3 into 3. 3 into 1. Okay, so what you will add to make it a perfect cube? Sir, we add 3. 2 into 2. This is a perfect cube into 3 into 3. But this is not a perfect cube. So one more 3 you need to make it a perfect cube. Okay, so it will be 3. 
clear okay sir okay yeah. q uh, number ending in 7 will end in the digit 3 3 7 okay so 3 yes, then if it is ending with 3 it will end with the digit 7 7 very good okay now you have to tell true and false okay yes, these are very basic questions that's why we are doing this okay after this basic questions we will do the tough questions according to the sanic school preparation okay these are very basic questions if you know these all questions then your basic is clear okay so you can prepare for all india sanic school examination 2022 but if you are not able to do these questions yes. you, you can't yes. you can't prepare, you can't do you can't crack the sanic school test okay Question number forty-nine: The square of eighty-six will have six at the unit space. Yes. Is it correct or not? True or false? Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, it is correct because it has six in the unit space and six has the square of six has six at its unit space. It is correct. True. Okay. Question number fifty: The sum of two perfect squares is a perfect square. Is it true or false? The sum of two perfect squares is a perfect square. Sir, false. False. Why? Yes. You can check it. Okay. One. We five. take five and six. Yeah. Why five and six? Take the smallest. One and two. One, two, two is a four. Four plus one, five. It's not a perfect square. Okay. Yes, sir. Number fifty-one. The product yes, of two perfect squares is a perfect square. Sorry. The product of two. Uh, the product of two perfect square is a perfect square. True or false? False, sir. False. Why false? It's true. It's true. Two per the product means multiplication. If something is a, is perfect square, this is perfect square. Then product will be perfect square. Like see, four is a perfect square and nine is a perfect square. If you multiply it, four nine is a thirty six. It's also perfect square. Means yes sir. Means root is two into three. Yes sir. Okay. For multiplication, it's true. For addition and subtraction, it's not true. Okay. Yes, sir. The product of this is false. This is true. The product of two perfect square is a perfect square. It's true. Question number fifty-two. There is no square be number true. between fifty and sixty. True or false? False. True. After forty-nine, seven seven to forty-nine, eight eight to sixty-four. There is no number, no perfect square. The false is. False. True is. False कैसा होगा? True है ना ये? There, yes, there is no square number between fifty and sixty. देखो. Okay sir. Five का क्या होता है? Twenty five. Six का thirty six. Seven का forty nine. Forty nine के बाद next square number कौन सा है? Eight का होगा. Eight एंड सा sixty four. So forty nine और sixty four के बीच में आता है ना ये fifty and sixty. So there is no yes, square sir. number between fifty and sixty. It's true. Okay. Yes. Okay, sir. Like, like this, you have to find before fifty, it is forty-nine, and after forty-nine, the next number is sixty-four, which doesn't come in between fifty and sixty. That's why it's true. Okay. Yes. Question number fifty-three: The square root of one five two one is thirty-one. Is this correct or not? Use yes. fastest for fastest method to find the square. True. Okay. True. Question number fifty-five. The square of two point eight is seventy-eight point four. Sir, false. 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 Ah, uh, Pratyush, false. The square of two point eight is seventy-eight point four. Yes, sir. False. So what is true? What is true? The square of two point eight is what? Seven point eight four. Seven point eight four. Yes, sir. Okay, fifty-six, fifty-six, 
the cube of 0.4 is 0.064 true true it's true okay. true oh. the square root of 0.9 is 0.3 correct Wrong. true sir true 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 point true true 0.3 into point 0.3 Zero point zero nine. How it is true? How it is true? बहुत दिन नहीं टूट चल रहा है. मम्मी पीछे पुला. चांदे पर इधर क्यों रहने? इधर पर चांदे. इधर चांदे क्यों? हट नहीं तू यहाँ से. इधर आना. Point three into point three is point zero nine. So how it is true? Paul sir. You cannot have a square root of point zero nine. Okay. Yes, sir. You cannot have for a square root. You need to uh, have two digits after point. Okay, after decimal, you should have two digits. Then only you can have a square root of that number. Okay, so single digit you yes. cannot have. Okay, if you square any number, yes. any decimal yes. point, any decimal yes. point, you you square this, you will have two numbers. Two numbers. Two digits after this decimal. Okay, after squaring, it will be zero point zero four. Always you will have two numbers, two digits after this decimal. Okay, so you cannot have zero point. You cannot you cannot have any square root of point zero point nine. Okay, you can have, but you cannot calculate. You you have to use calculator for this. Okay, normally you cannot calculate it. Got the point? Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Question number fifty-eight. Yes, sir. The square of every natural number is always greater than the number itself. True or false? True. Oh. The square of every natural number is always greater than its number. What is the square of one? One. So it is greater than one or greater than one? Equal than one. Huh? Is equal to one, so this is not true. But sir, if we put, if we take two, so sir, then it is greater. Then, then what it is saying that the square of every natural number, every means every, every means we have to include one. The natural number starts from one, okay? So not every yes, natural number except then one, except then one. Every natural number has is always greater than every natural square of every natural number except one. Is greater than the number of itself. Okay, for one it is not true. That's why it is false. Okay, clear. I agree. With, I agree with this answer or no? Sir, I agree. I agree. Okay. Question number fifty-nine. The cube root of eight thousand is two hundred. Correct. False. 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 What is, what is the true? What is the correct answer? Sir, eighty lakh. Huh? Eighty lakh, sir. Cube root, not cube. Cube root. Cube root of eight thousand. Cube root of eight thousand. Twenty, twenty, twenty. Twenty. Sir, twenty. Twenty. Hmm. But you understand? Are you? If doubt, you have to say. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Not if you say, you understand. You understand. There are five perfect cubes between one and hundred. No. False. Hmm? False. False. Huh? Eight. Five perfect. Yes, sir. Eight. Then next is twenty-seven. 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 The next. Sixty-four. Next. Sir, one twenty-five. Yes, it's false. Only three is there. Only three. One is also. One will you will not include one in between one and hundred. So one is not included after two. Yes, sir. Okay. So it is yes, false. Yes. Question number sixty-one. There are two hundred natural numbers between hundred square and one zero one square. True or false? True. 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 Why it is true? Uh, because hundred into two is equal to hundred. Hundred into two is equal to two. Very good. 
Now 62. The sum of first n odd natural numbers is n square. True or false? True or false? True or false? True. Question number 62. The sum of first n odd natural numbers is n square. It's true. Okay. This is formula for yeah. this is formula for finding the sum of first n odd natural numbers. Okay. Thousand is a perfect square. True or false? Say true. False. 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 No, sir. False. 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 This number false. should be even. Even number of zeros should be there for a perfect square. To be a perfect square. The number of zeros should be even number, either two, either four, or six, or eight, or ten. Okay, so this is false. Yes, sir. A perfect square can have eight as its units digit. False. 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 Okay. False. Sixty-five. Hmm. Sixty-five. For every natural number, this 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 is a Pythagorean triplet. 2m minus 1, 2m. False. 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 What is that numbers? The 2m and 2M. square minus 1 or m plus 1. M square minus, minus 1, 2m. Plus, plus 1 or 2m. Okay. 66. All numbers of a Pythagorean triplet are odd. All numbers of a Pythagorean triplet are odd. It is correct? False. 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 Okay. It, it can be three, four, five. Okay. It can be odd. It can be even. Okay. Yes, sir. 67. For an integer a, a cube is always greater than a square. True or false? For an integer a, a cube. False. True or false? True. 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 False. True. False. 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 Why it is false? Why it is false? Sir, if we take a is equal to one, hmm. then we then we take a square so it is one and then we a cube to one is equal to one okay, that is equal okay <coughs> so not every time not always greater than a square okay it's false 68 if x and y are integers such that x square is less than y square then x cube is less than y cube If x and y are integers such that x square is greater than y square, here you cannot take one. Okay. So here, yes, sir. Yeah, for example, you can take x x as two and y as uh, x as three and y as two. Okay. So nine is greater than four. Then what will happen? That true. Yes. Then it will be true. Okay. Then cube will also be greater than. Greater. Cube will be greater than y cube. Okay. If a square is greater than, then cube will also be greater than other number. Okay. I think yes, clear. Here, because it is not saying any integer or all natural numbers, it's not saying like that. It has given a one condition here. So this if, if this is the condition, then this condition is also true. Okay. Now 69. Let x and y be natural numbers. X and y be natural numbers if x divides y, then x cube divides y cube. Sir, true. True. How? Oh. And can you explain why? Sir, we, we, take, we take x as a 2 and we take y as a 4. Okay. 4. Hmm. Then? 4 into 4 into 4 divided by 2 into 2 into 2. So this all will cut by this. Okay. So x cube divides y cube. Okay. If x divides y, then x cube divides y cube. And x square divides y square also. Okay? Now question number 70. If a square ends in 5, then a cube ends in 25. 
If a square ends in yes, sir. Five, then a cube will end in twenty-five. Five uh -huh. square is twenty-five. Yeah. A cube will be one yes, sir. Five. Okay. What about and it ends with what, what about fifteen? Fifteen square is two one five. Two one five. Twenty-five. No, sir. Two two five. Two two five. Sorry. Two two five. And then fifteen cube. Multiply it. What will come? Three three seven. Three two seven five two three. Hmm. Three three seven five. So it's coming twenty five. It's coming twenty five. No sir. No. So it's not possible. But no. It's false. For five, it's true. Okay. See, in fifteen, a square of fifteen ends in five. Okay. Then a cube will not end with twenty-five. It's clear here. Clear? Not clear. No, sir. Hmm. Clear. Clear. Okay. Sir. Now seventy-one. If a square ends in nine, then a square ends in seven. A cube yes, ends sir. in seven. Yes, sir. True. True. Three, three, the nine, three, the twenty-seven. Yes, it's true. If a square ends in nine, it means unit place is three. Okay. If unit place is three, then it its cube will be end with unit place yeah. is seven. Okay. Three plus seven is equal to ten. Okay. Now question number seventy-two. The square root of a perfect square n digits will have n plus one upon two digits if n is odd. Yes, it's true. And yes, sir. About, it is true. Yes, it's true. What about if n is an even number? Sir, n upon two. N upon two. Yeah. N upon two. Seventy-three. Square root of a number x is denoted by root x. Sir, true. it is correct. Hmm. Pratyush, true or false? True, true, sir. Pratyush, say it. Why do you not say it? सर समझ में आ बोलो ना देखो सुनील कितना अच्छा बोल रहा है शर्मा नहीं फटाफट बोलो नहीं आता है तो भी बोलो नहीं आता है तो मैं बताऊंगा ना मैं क्यों बैठा हूँ तो बोलो नहीं आता है तो भी बोलो कि नहीं आता है तो मैं समझाऊंगा ठीक है स्क्वायर नहीं बोलोगे तो मुझे क्या बदला है समझ में आ रहा है कि नहीं आ रहा है स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ए नंबर एक्स इज डिनोटेड बाई कैसे डिनोट करते हैं स्क्वायर रूट किसी भी चीज का स्क्वायर रूट कैसे डिनोट करते हैं इस तरह से ये तो है इसका साइन रूट का अंडर रूट का साइन क्या है ये है इसके अंदर एक्स डाल दिया ओके नंबर नंबर हैविंग एट इट्स वंस प्लेस विल हैव थ्री एट द यूनिट्स प्लेस ऑफ इट्स स्क्वायर इफ नंबर हैविंग सेवन अगर लास्ट में सेवन है वंस प्लेस पे तो इसके विल हैव थ्री एट यूनिट्स प्लेस ऑफ इट्स स्क्वायर स्क्वायर करेंगे तो क्या आएगा इसके यूनिट प्लेस पे थ्री आएगा क्या आएगा बोलो प्रत्युष बोलो अरे भैया सेवन का स्क्वायर करोगे तो क्या आएगा फोर्टी नाइन फोर्टी नाइन यूनिट प्लेस पे क्या आएगा नाइन नहीं तो इतना सोच क्या रहे हो तुम तो ये ट्रू है या फॉल्स तो बोलो ऐसा सोच के फटाफट ओके रहते चलो सेवेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी फाइव ए नंबर हैविंग सेवन एट इट्स वंस प्लेस विल हैव थ्री एट द वंस प्लेस ऑफ इट्स क्यूब करेक्ट है ट्रू है या फॉल्स है ए नंबर हैविंग सेवन एट इट्स वंस प्लेस विल हैव थ्री एट द वंस प्लेस ट्रू है ट्रू है ठीक है क्यूब के लिए देखो सेवन है तो थ्री होगा थ्री है तो सेवन होगा ठीक है फोर है तो फोर ही होगा फोर और सिक्स का सेम होता है सिक्स और फोर का सेम सेम आता है ठीक है फोर का क्यूब करेंगे तो फोर इंटू फोर इंटू फोर क्या हो जाएगा फोर फोर सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन फोर सिक्सटी फोर एंड में फोर ही आएगा 
सिक्स का भी वैसे होता है सिक्स इंटू सिक्स इंटू सिक्स सिक्स इज दर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स इज दर्टी सिक्स इज दर्टी सिक्स इज दोलो टू हंड्रेड सिक्स ही आएगा सिक्स है तो सिक्स आएगा फोर है तो फोर आएगा बाकी टू है तो एट आएगा एट है तो टू आएगा ठीक है थ्री है तो सेवन आएगा सेवन है तो थ्री आएगा ठीक है फोर हो गया फाइव है तो फाइव ही आएगा ठीक है सिक्स है तो सिक्स आएगा सेवन है तो थ्री आएगा एट है तो टू आएगा सब हो गया वन है तो क्या आएगा वन ही आएगा ठीक है वन वन और नाइन है नाइन है तो ठीक है वन है तो वन ही आएगा नाइन है तो नाइन ही आएगा सिक्स है तो सिक्स आएगा फोर है तो फोर आएगा फाइव है तो फाइव आएगा बिल्कुल याद रहना चाहिए ठी